Let's spin the wheel. The first subject is parenting. Who wants to come in on that? Ava Vidal. Uh, I'm a parent and uh, no one ever actually prepares you properly for being a parent. They give you some books about what's going to happen to your body, how the baby's going to grow. When I find out nowadays if any of my friends are actually going to have a child, the only book I give them is We Need to Talk About Kevin. Because <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, it hasn't really worked out for me. I uh, can kind of tell how old people's kids are by the enthusiasm in their answer if you ask if they've got kids. Because if they go, yeah, I've got kids, you can tell the kids are still quite young. They haven't had time for the hate to really kick in. <laughs> no. So, I, uh, having a daughter and having a son, I've actually worked out why you men are so messed up. <laughs> um, and what it is, right, is because my son, it, he talks quite a lot. He, he rabbits on a lot. And the other day he was going, ma'am, Mum, and I just went, shut up, or else I'll knock you out. <laughs> and he turned around to me and he went, Mum, I'd like to see you try. <laughs> so I tried. Um, <laughs> I had to see if the joke would work. And I realised, because my son, it, he's the same height as me now, he plays county-level rugby, he's actually stronger than me. And I realised, gosh, I actually can't physically hurt this boy. So I sat there and I thought about it, and it was at that point I realised, oh, my gosh, I'm going to have to mess him up psychologically. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what we do. Thank you, Thank you. OK, the next subject, please. Let's spin the wheel. Next subject is science. Who wants to come in that? Chris Anderson. I'll tell you the problem with science, right? The problem with science is it refuses to speak the language of those of us who don't understand science, right? Even when it's the job of science to be talking to us numpties, it can't bring itself to speak as we do. Pick up a packet of paracetamol, right? Look at the instructions on the back of that. It says, for the treatment of neuralgia, <laughs> fibrositis, muscular, whatever. We don't talk like that. If that talked anything like us, that would say, for the treatment of the worst headache I've ever had in my <laughs> life. A pain in my side, I'm sure, actually, is cancer this time. <laughs> my wife's had to help me out of the car. It's coming out of both ends like someone's hit a pan of chocolate with a mallet. <laughs> <laughs> That is how we talk, right? But it doesn't, it doesn't, we can't tell what's actually science and, and what is some hokey nonsense dressed up as science to, you know, entice us in. That's why, that's why cosmetics companies, whenever they bring out a new thickness of goop, right, they give it a kind of sciencey name so we'll be all dazzled. Nivea DNH. O F off. Right? <laughs> Avon's cream, Avon's new cream is called a new genics. What? A, a new Gen X, right? That's been through marketing, that's been through focus groups, design. Did nobody at any point go, um, a new Gen X? You don't think that sounds a bit Third Reichy, maybe? <laughs> what next? New pro genocide, now with anti Semitox. <laughs> Sandra, can I borrow your ethnic cleanser? <laughs> well done, Chris Anderson. And that leaves us with Milton. Let's see what you've been left with. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is the USA. So I've just come back from America, apparently. <laughs> While I was there, I saw one of those very, 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 very large Americans. He said he fitted kitchens. I said, I bet you don't. I went up to this girl, I said, what's your name? She said, Chantel. I said, well, if you're not going to tell me your name... <laughs> I said, what do you do for a living? She said, don't go there, don't go there, don't go there. I said, I hope you're not a travel agent. <laughs> when I was in America, I bought tickets for the, the Bears versus the Cowboys. Bit of a disappointment. <laughs> I want to see Bears versus Cowboys. <laughs> so then I bought tickets for the Giants versus the Jets. <laughs> Another missed opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> then I bought tickets for the Packers versus the Dolphins. Get in the box, get in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much. Paul Turby on there. Let's all sit back. Come on.